This problem says, find the equation of the circle shown below. So here, I've drawn a circle with a couple points. I've drawn the center, and I've drawn one point on the circle. And based on that, let's find the equation of the circle. First, the center, which is right here, is clearly just minus 5, comma, 6. So let me write that down. Minus 5, comma, 6. You can just read that directly from the graph, because this is 5 for your minus 5 for your x coordinate, and 6 for your y coordinate. And what about this point here? That's minus 2, comma, 6, right over here. So how can I use that point to get the radius? Well, notice the radius is just the distance from the center to a point on the circle. And let's think about what that distance is. Well, we don't change our vertical distance. We're at y equals 6 for both those points. So we only move horizontally. And we go from minus 5 to minus 2. That's a distance traveled of 3 units. Therefore, the radius is just 3 units. So now let's use that to write the equation of the circle. So let me move down here. Remember, the equation of a circle is just x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus r squared. Or not plus, equal r squared. And we know our center is minus 5 comma 6. So remember, whenever you're going from the equation to your center or from the center back to your equation, you have to flip the coordinates on the x and the y. So this minus 5 actually becomes a plus 5 for the minus h here. And that plus 6 becomes a minus 6. So I'll have y minus 6 because I flipped the y coordinate and x plus 5 because I flipped the x coordinate. And then we also know that r is equal to 3. That's the radius. So to go from radius to radius squared, you just square both sides. So r squared is equal to 3 squared. And 3 squared is just equal to 9. That means r squared is just equal to 9. So in other words, the equation of the circle I've drawn above is x plus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 9. That's it for this problem.